This is Pikialok Soksoak. Located between Greenland and Baffin Island in Canada, it is the largest open water polynya in the Arctic. Biologically, it's one of the most productive regions, vital to many migratory species. For generations, Inuit have recognized it as a critical habitat, which the surrounding communities depend upon for food. ICC spearheaded a project to protect the polynya. It's created a commission which held hearings in Greenland and Canada and produced a final report with three recommendations. Now, Inuit in Baffin Island are working with Inuit in Greenland and the Government of Canada and Denmark to manage the Pikialok Soksoak. In Canada, the Qikiqtani Inuit Association is calling it the Safakjoak. This is the 2018 ICC General Assembly of Ukkiavik. Founded in 1977 by the late Eben Hobson of Barrow, Alaska, now Ukkiavik, the Inuit Circumpolar Council has flourished and grown into a major international non-government organization. It represents 180,000 Inuit in Alaska, Canada, Greenland, in Chukotka, Russia. Every four years, Inuit delegates from across the Circumpolar region meet to discuss critical and common concerns. During the ICC General Assemblies, delegates develop policies and resolutions in form of a declaration that guides ICC's work over the next four-year term. In 2018, the Ukkiavik Declaration was unanimously adopted. It contains 10 sections and 58 clauses covering the major issues ICC works on. The Arctic Council is a major focus of our activities. Created in 1996 in Ottawa, it is composed of eight Arctic states. Canada, USA, Norway, Finland, Sweden, Russia, Iceland, and Denmark. ICC is one of the six indigenous permanent participant organizations. The Arctic Council produces cutting-edge environmental, economic, and social assessments through its six working groups. ICC is active in this work. One of the Arctic Council working groups is the Sustainable Development Working Group, or SDWG. This is where ICC has been addressing Inuit health issues. From an Inuit perspective, health and wellness is viewed in a holistic way. Physical and mental health are intricately tied to health of our communities and the health of the land. We have focused on specific areas such as mental wellness. Together, we launched Project Creates, which used digital storytelling to provide a way for Inuit youth to talk about suicide. We will continue this project and expand it under the next two Arctic Council chairs. We're calling it Local to Global. We're also planning to hold an ICC Health Summit once the coronavirus pandemic allows for safe travel and gatherings. This is the United Nations headquarters in New York. ICC's vision was always to work within the UN to advance the human rights of Inuit and other concerns. In 1983, ICC was granted consultative status at the UN under the Economic and Social Council, known as ECOSOC. In 2000, the UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues was created. The Arctic was recognized as a region providing Inuit and Sami with a seat in the forum. The Permanent Forum is the key UN body dealing with Indigenous rights. It's held each spring in New York. ICC attends. It's by working within the UN that Inuit have contributed to the adoption of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People in 2007. This historic document is a vital tool for Inuit in the ongoing struggle to protect our human rights, economic advancement, and political development. The UN also organizes major international meetings on key issues ICC advocates on. Climate change is one of them. Each year, 
the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change is held. Each annual meeting is called a Conference of the Parties, such as COP25 held in Madrid, Spain in 2019. We have been bringing Inuit voices to the COP meetings since they started at the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro in 1992. In the Arctic, global warming is happening the fastest on planet Earth, something Inuit have been saying for decades. Melting polar ice and the opening of the Northwest Passage means more shipping in the Arctic. ICC is active at the UN's International Maritime Organization, known as IMO. We want to ensure the Inuit voice is heard on protecting our marine environment from too much shipping. We're advocating for a ban on heavy fuel oils, known as HFOs, in the Arctic waters. ICC also wants to be a permanent participant at the IMO so we can speak out independently. Wildlife is another area where we bring our voice. We defend our rights to hunt and harvest wildlife and to protect the environment for our wildlife. We attend the Conference of the Parties of the Convention on Biological Diversity with the goal of reducing the loss of biodiversity on a global scale. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature is one of the largest environmental policy and advocacy forms in the world. We successfully lobbied with the partners for the creation of Indigenous Peoples Organizations category. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species is an international agreement involving over 190 member states. ICC has been active at CITES to ensure Inuit can continue to engage in polar bear conservation, harvesting and trade. For decades, ICC has spoken out about how contaminants from industrial activities make their way to the Arctic. I think the world needs to know that we live off the land and the ocean is carrying all this plastic waste and this is affecting Inuit very much because we eat the animals in the ocean and we eat animals from the land. So to find plastic in their stomach is heartbreaking because these are our food. They're in the air, water, our wildlife, and find their way into the traditional diet of Inuit across the Arctic. Significant advances have been made in contaminants-related science and through international instruments such as Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. ICC is committed to developing science and bringing Inuit concerns forward through international and national research programs. Examples include the Arctic Monitoring Assessment Program of the Arctic Council and Canada's Northern Contaminants Program. We're back at Sakfakjuak. This is ICC Now.